Good morning, morning, morning. How's everybody doing this fine morning? <laughs> We're trying to have a little bit of fun with the camera. Anyways, I'm sitting here in the back bunk and going over some stuff. And uh, I got me a request here a little while ago already to give a shout out. And I figured may as well, uh, you know, show you guys my whole list on the subscribers, on the new subscribers that I've gotten over the last little while. And you can see for yourself. And uh, hey, maybe you see your own name in there. And if you do, then uh, hey good we welcome you so let's get to it let's turn the camera around over here okay so you can uh, here you can see how long they've been subscribed to me how many subscribers they got what their name is on their YouTube channel and so that's scroll down here a little bit and you can uh, take a look and see if you see your name yeah this guy right here is the one that actually made a request to me uh, asking me if I could give him a shout out and uh, I will if you ask me specifically to give you a shout out I will no I don't know if I can pronounce your name or not but we will give it a try I think I can say his first name is Neil I don't know how to pronounce his last name so forgive me I I'm not even going to attempt because that's a hard last name there N A Y a R. I don't know how you pronounce your name, but uh, anyways, there you have your shout out. And uh, anybody else that needs a shout out, just give me a text or uh, message me. Uh, you can message me right through uh, YouTube here, or or Google Plus, or Facebook, or Twitter. I got uh, LinkedIn and all them good stuff. So we're just gonna go through the link or through the page here a little bit and you can see uh, who's all been uh, subscribing to me lately this has all been since the last week oh yeah here's Charles Char Charles R uh, he's been uh, commenting a lot on my uh, on my uh, videos so thank you for uh, being a loyal subscriber to me I appreciate that very much if you guys are commenting uh, on my videos and I will always try to respond I don't might I might not always get back to you right away but uh, normally I will get uh, get back to you so this is already in the second week here two weeks ago so we'll load more all right yeah so there you have it that's uh, that's about it. That's about all I'm gonna show you for now, anyways. And if any of you guys need a shout out or whatever, hey, like I said, give me a text or whatever you want, and uh, we will try to pronounce your name right if we possibly can. And uh, but hey, another thing I wanted to talk about is I pull up the map, and here it is. You can see right here. This is where I uh, stayed overnight. Well, right here on I-5, but, you know, Google Map, when you type in Federal Way, Washington, it, it, you know, it's a little bit off of the Highway 5 there, but, anyways, there is Seattle right here. That is Seattle, Washington. Now, there is a very special event happening in Seattle in August, 22nd, that is. And they have just emailed us that they're going to be uh, a lot of youtubers are going to stay there till the 23rd as well so and uh, I am going to be attending the uh, vlogger fair there as well uh, we have already purchased our hotel tickets so they are officially purchased and uh, I also know that jukebox is going to be there trucker jukebox he's going to be there trucker Josh is going to be there and there's going to be a lot of big big youtubers like with a lot of subscribers and stuff like that is going to be there but anyways i think i will uh get my logbook filled out and then uh we'll get out of here and just figured i get me a good start here today and uh we'll see what what kind of goodies we come up with today so be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the day and we will see you then here we go guys, let's get out of here. So 
a little tight to get out of this spot here and the guys are pulling up all the way to the lines but we are able to get out of here so yeah, let's get out of town I guess well first we gotta go through Seattle yep my plan yesterday was to go through Seattle but that didn't happen so we gotta try and do it today just hope the traffic ain't gonna be terrible today mind you it is Friday so Friday is usually a little rough but that's okay we'll see how it goes
and drop this trailer up there at the customer and then uh, they give me another load going from Madison out to uh, Steinbach so we'll be going home no matter what we'll just do a few extra things before we get home but we are starting to get in back into the mounts these are real heavy duty mounts for those of you that watch trucker Josh you saw him in here uh, a week or two ago so you will get to see it from my angle this time so be sure to stay tuned look at that oh yeah oh yeah those are some humongous mounts oh yeah they are big that's for sure here we are guys in the middle of the rocky mountains oh yeah look at that up ahead of us there that is a humongous mountain up there. I mean, that's got to be a mile or over a mile high mountain up there. That is huge. Oh, yeah. But it is gorgeous at the same time. It is. Definitely is gorgeous. All right. I guess we better slow down. There's a sign up here saying 60. All right. At a 60 kilometers an hour, not miles. Yeah. But you're gonna get to see a lot of beautiful sceneries like this in the next couple, next day or two for sure. Yep. Looks like they got these clothes uh, bars up here now. They never used to have them up here. I don't remember. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Looks like we have a car on fire. Looks like we have a car on fire, guys. Holy smokes. Eastbound, eastbound, brick check, brick check. We got a car on fire. Eastbound, brick check. Holy smokes. That is not looking good. Holy smokes. That we want to get on video, my friends. There was one tire that just exploded and it looks like the grass is cut, catching on fire. I hope the fire department gets you pretty soon because this could get ugly. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's get out of here before a tire explodes. Boy, oh boy, I can feel the heat up here. My goodness. That is something. Whoa. That is the first time in my entire life that I've ever actually seen a car on fire. Wow. That was something. Oh, see all the smoke in the air? That was a little scary even going by it there because you never know what could happen, right? Well, guys, this is a big tourist attraction right here. But it is also a dangerous place. As you can see right here up to the right, it goes up pretty steep up there. And in winter time, when we got a lot of snow up here, this is where we usually get avalanches. As you can see right here, coming up right here, this is where they got the gates and they close the gates when the, however the avalanche gets too high. As you can see right here, pretty much goes straight up. Yes siree. I wonder what that boat is doing. He seems to be circling and around in a circle up there. <laughs> I guess he's just having fun. I guess it's a good time of the year to have fun in the lakes you know I don't know what that is up there I've never been able to figure out what that is up there it looks almost like a hotel or something it's some kind of resort probably yeah well, sometimes I see a helicopter up there yeah, well, this time of the year, it just seems like there's a lot of people up here all the time, and that's it. But that's the way it goes. 
starting the sun is starting to go down a little bit more and I think I'm going to stop driving here pretty soon too I think I think so I think once I get me a parking space or somewhere here soon then I think I'm just going to call her a day and be done with it you know I've been struggling with these two trucks ahead of us there they speed up slow down speed up slow down there's a passing lane you can't pass them because the one guy will get beside the other guy and try to pass the other guy and then slow everything down and then yeah i don't know it's a struggle but eventually we'll get past them i hope and if not we'll park her somewhere for the night and by that time tomorrow they should be gone anyways We'll be right back, y'all. Here we go, guys. We are coming into Revelstock. Revelstock, uh, BC, British Columbia, that stands for. Yeah, look at this. We got a little bit of a bridge up here. A little bit of a river. Yep. Narrow road ahead. All right. Well, I thought this road was narrow, narrow already. So how much narrower can it get? RJ, you tell me. All right. I guess we're going to have to do a stub up here. Yeah. Oh, this is where we got a couple of tunnels. Yeah, we're going to go through the tunnels. This is uh, because they got not much room to build the road. So they uh, gotta build these tunnels so that when the avalanches or whatever come down, that it goes right on the, over top of the road and it goes right over there into the ditch. Yeah, that's the way they work it. Here's another one going to the tunnel. Oh yeah. I think they got about five of them up here in the road. Yep. Yeah, well. I was gonna stop up there and rival stuck. Yeah, I decided to continue on further on any of us. I don't know why we gotta slow down over here. I guess they got a little bit of construction going on. Well guys, we have made it to Golden BC. I think we did pretty good today and we got ourselves a cup of coffee Tim Hortons cup of coffee I got a Tim Hortons just down here down the road so but what better way to end the day than with having a Tim Hortons yeah that's a good way to end the day I think so with that we thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to make a good video every day. I really am. But it doesn't work out always like that. But hey, that's all right. Anyways, we're going to go to bed. Going to finish the cup of coffee here and... And then we'll go to bed. So we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is going to come.